once again welcome to my channel who followed the first worth as the poet laureate once again 15 questions are there and very very important questions for the purpose of english literature related exams okay so first question or the 16th question question of this series because it will be a series of mcqs with important important facts so don't miss it so first question of this video or the 16th question of this series so who followed the words worth as the poet laureate so without any doubt we have the right answer tennyson yes tennyson followed wordsworth as a poet laureate see lord alfred tennyson in around 1850 yes then jen austin's novels were written during the during which identify the right answer anglo dutch naval encounters 100 years war or wars of the roses or napoleonic wars so guess the right answer friends the right answer is d napoleonic wars jen austin's novels were written during the napoleonic wars then with whom is the phrase negative capability associated so identify the person with whom the phrase was associated negative capability was it kids or black byron or shelley and the right answer is kids with kids john kids the phrase negative capability was associated next is which of the following is not written by charles lamb dream children old and new school masters selected snobberies or valentines day which of the following was not written by charles lamb charles lamb the great essayist so the right answer is c selected snobberies it was not written by charles lamb other three are written by him then the poem by kits in which an allusion to ruth occurs in four options are there identify the right answer whether it is ode to autumn ode to a nightingale ode to psyche or ode on a gracian urn and the right answer is ode to a nightingale the poem ode to a nightingale by john kids in which an allusion to ruth occurs then the major trait of arnold's temperament as evident in his poetry is so what is the major trait here for the uh, temperament of arnold so optimism is there and courage is there melancholy is there gaiety is there so which one is the right answer friends and the right answer is melancholy see the major trait of melancholy of arnold's temperament is an evident of his in his poetry as an evident melancholy then who work who wrote the picture of dorian gray thomas hardy thackeray uh, oscar wilde or jen austin very simple question it is the right answer is oscar wilde wrote the picture of dorian gray then who wrote jen eyre once again very simple question but sometimes uh, in matching items these questions are asked okay that's why i have included these questions jen eyre written by charlotte bronte charlotte bronte is the right answer she wrote jen eyre then what is the fictional name of mary ann evans what is the fictional name okay a, a name a fictional name Re options are charlotte bronte george eliot emily bronte or jen austin the right answer is george eliot mary ann evans uh, has another name fictional name george eliot then to which literary school did william morris belong georgian imagist pre raphaelite oxford movement which one is the right or correct answer friends the literary school did uh, with which william morris belong so it is pre raphaelite pre raphaelite literary school with which william morris was belonging 
than a work by an English writer articulating uh, feminist concerns in the 20th century is a room with a view, a view from the bridge, a room of one's own or Jacob's room. So identify the right answer, friends. And the right answer is a room of one's own. It is a work by an English writer articulating feminist concerns in the 20th century. And it, this work is by Virginia Woolf, I think, uh, a room of, it, of one's own. Then Adela Quested is a character in a novel by Virginia Woolf, E.M. Forster, James Joyce, or Paul Scott. Adela Quested, a character. So the, this character appears in E.M. Forster's uh, novel, I think, Passes to India. It is there. Then the French symbolist poet who exercised the greatest influence on T.S. Eliot, uh, uh, influence of a person, a French uh, individual uh, symbolist poet on T.S. Eliot. So Mellarmé, or La Forgue, or Baudelaire, or Villain. So what is the right answer? Identify it. The right answer is La Forgue. La Forgue, uh, the French symbolist poet, exercised the greatest influence on T.S. Eliot in his poetry. Then which of the following is not written by D.H. Lawrence? Sons and lovers, women in love, uh, the rainbow, or fathers and sons? So the right answer, this one, this is very simple question. The right answer is fathers and sons. It is not written by D.H. Lawrence. Other three were written by him. And the last question of this video, sweet themes run softly till I end my song is, an, uh, is a line from Spencer used uh, by the modern writer. This, li this line is used by Spencer. For a modern writer so stephen spender is there ezra pound t.s Eliot, wallace stevens which is the right answer friends identify and the right answer is t.s Eliot. sweet thames run softly till i end my song is a line from spencer used by the modern writer t.s Eliot in his own poetry so that's all for today for these questions thank you so much for listening to me and uh, you can remember these questions by noting them down or just you can take screenshot also no matter with that so and don't forget to subscribe this channel because it will have a lot of questions like this uh, a series of mcqs that will be very very helpful to you in your exams thank you thank you so much